There are multiple methods for embedding media inside of Tastream portfolios, so I'll show you a couple of them. So I have a new section in my portfolio here called Embedding Images, and I used the main text section, and um, I'll just quickly show you a preview of what this looks like. So here's that new section, Embedding Images, and this page uses the main text tool, and here is an embedded picture. So let's go back and see how that is done. So I'm going to hit edit and I just type in my text and when I'm ready to insert a picture, I use the insert, uh, I use the image button here and that opens up a dialog box here. I do have to have a URL of the photo. So that means that the photo has to be online. So if I find a photo, I can right click on it and I can copy the image address and that's what I'm pasting in here. I do also have to have alternative text so that um, a screen reader can read this and I can put in um, specific pixel measurements. If I'm not sure how big I want it, I can kind of you know, play around with changing those numbers, make sure that this lock stays here so that it's proportional. So then you just hit OK and this picture is embedded and then you can type some more text below. Um, so, as I mentioned, the image does need to be online, so you have to have a URL to enter the image. To resize the picture, you right-click on it and select Image Properties, and you enter a pixel measurement in the dialog box. You can also easily wrap text around the picture using the Alignment dialog box. So, if I put the picture on the left, I could have the text wrap up around to the right of it. So now this text is wrapped around to the side of it. And when I save and return that, that's what it looks like. And if I refresh this page, that's what it looks like. The text is around to the side of it. So you can do that with the um, main text tool. Then you also have the option of using the text and image tool, which looks very similar. So not very much difference between these two. Um, here, uh, you've got an embedded image and you do that by doing insert image and you put the URL for the image here. Again, you have to have the picture online. You'll put your alternative text here and then you'll enter pixel measurements here. So you have to know the pixel measurements of the image um, and then that will embed it here. Um, if you're not sure, you can put in the full size image. And what's nice about the text and image tool is that when you click on it, you get these sizing handles. So you can click and drag, and that will resize the image for you. And you can keep you know, clicking and dragging until it's the size that you want. So the image does need to be online, and you can easily resize it. However, you can't wrap the text up around it unless you know the CSS code to make that happen. So I'll save and return that. And um, that's what this one now looks like when I resize the image. We also have this slideshow tool um, up here. And if I take a quick peek at what the slideshow looks like, it shows the images inside a slideshow container and I can make that full suck screen and there are these next and back arrows and the title comes up um, down below along with a description if I put that in there too. So sometimes the, it comes up over the picture and if there's text behind it that might be difficult to see. And <clears throat> uh, you cannot add online images here. Here you're uploading images from your own computer. Um, so that's what the slideshow tool looks like. Um, you can put as many pictures as you want to in there. So those are the different ways of um, embedding images into your um, test stream portfolio. Then we have videos, and there's a couple of different ways of embedding videos. So with the embedding videos, one thing that you can do is the embed media. So if I use embed media, I'll click edit on this, it gives you some options of the different places that you can get media from. So you can get pictures from Picasa or Flickr. You can get videos from Vimeo or YouTube. Um, you can get presentations from Prezi, um, audio from SoundCloud, uh, slideshows from SlideShare. So there's lots of tools that you can use. You can't just go anywhere on the web. 
Um, if you have a URL, you can um, uh, copy the, the video from uh, YouTube, the URL from there, and paste that in here, and then give it a title and a description, and then hit add, and it comes up over here, and then you hit save and return, and actually I'll cancel that one. Um, and it displays the uh, YouTube video embedded right inside of your task stream portfolio. So if you have a video that you uploaded to video uh, YouTube, you could add that here. If you have a video on your computer, you can use the videos button and I'll hit edit here to show what that looks like. So I can add multiple ones here and when I do that, I'm uploading a video from my computer these can take a long time, depending on how long the video is um, and how fast your internet speed is. You would add a name, um, a description if you want to, and then click attach file and you'll see it in the list over here if you have multiple videos. And so I'm just going to hit cancel here and go back to the portfolio, or maybe not. There we go. And what that looks like um, is it shows this little video icon here. The description here is below it. So this was a video that I uploaded from my computer using the video tool. The whole video file is streamed. So this is a big file, 268 megabytes. And so it can lead to a lot of buffering. So you'll see this little um, line come up here. So I can only play up to there. Then. Um, as it continues to download, the video will pause there, and more will download, and then it will start playing again. This can be super annoying, so um, I really don't recommend using this um, for large videos, um, anything over 100 megabytes, um, even though most people can, can handle something like 100 megabytes on their um, internet speed. It still can be difficult for people um, with slower internet. So it's better to use a tool like Kaltura or YouTube because those companies create multiple copies of your large um, 268 megabyte video and at lower resolutions so that if someone has slower internet, the you know 45 megabyte version can be served up to them. So they don't have to wait. Um, and then finally, the this video was, was added using the text and image tool and opening the source code and then pasting in the embed code from a Kaltura video. So we'll see what that looks like. So this is the text and image um, tool. I'll hit edit here. And so here's the text that I entered. And then you go to uh, tools and source code. And you can see here's the first paragraph I entered. And then here is a bunch of code. And I get that by going to my video in Kaltura and looking down below and hitting share. So the first thing that you'll need to do though to make that work is go to actions and publish and make sure that it is unlisted so that anyone with a link can view that um, video. So you'll go to share and you can choose what size you want um, the video frame to be. Um, I would suggest the 608 one here and then you copy that and then you go to your um, uh, text and image tool, you go to the tools, you go to source code, and you paste that here, that big long um, iframe code. And then you, let's move this out of the way, then you hit save, and it embeds that whole video player inside of the tool. So I'll just hit save and return here. And that is displayed inside the page. So that's what it looks like here. It even includes the transcript as well. Now the other thing that you can do is you can actually embed web pages. So I used the text and image tool um, to embed a Google Doc here. So here's um, a Google Doc that is on my Google Drive and when I go to my Google Doc I can go to File and then I can publish to the web. And then there will be a button here that says publish. And when I do that, I get this link or I can use this embed code here. So I can copy this embed code and then I'll go back to task stream. I'll edit this so that I'm inside the text and edit image screen. 
and I'll go up to tools and source code and I'll paste in that source code here. Now the only thing is that it does not specify the size so it'll be a little tiny square which um, is not really useful. There will be scroll bars so you could scroll around on it but it's really tiny. So you do need to add this code to the um, before the closing iframe angle bracket. So you need to add this width 100, height 600, and I'll go back and show you where that is. So inside this iframe tag here, um, I added right before this closing angle bracket, I added the width 100%, height 600 and that embeds the page right inside of your page. And you can do this with any web page. It doesn't have to be a Google Doc. So any web page can be embedded using this code here. So you can paste this code into your um, source code tool and you would put the URL right inside that source quotes there. And this will embed anything inside your page. And let's see what that looks like in our preview here. So I've got it's 100% of the available width and it is 600 pixels long so I can just scroll through this like a regular Google Doc and I can also add text around it too like I have here. So these are all the different ways of adding um, media to your portfolio in TaskStream.